rag agents aren't sexy. But I'm gonna show you how you can build one in 10 minutes and get paid anywhere between 60 to $100. And I'll even show you where you can find these clients. This rag system gives perfect page level citations. And it's a system which clients are willing to pay excellent money for you to build. And with this Pinecone system, I'll show you how you can run it for only five cents every hour. Watch this. I'm going to ask the Pinecone agent one question about three different companies on their financial reports. So I'll paste the question here, which is give me a breakdown of where the revenue came from for each company. Once I hit enter, it's going to run the Pinecone agent, which is then going to query the Pinecone assistant, which checks the financial reports for Meta, Alphabet, and Amazon. And here you go. Here's a breakdown of where the revenue came from for Meta, Amazon, and Alphabet. The first one is Meta, and it gives you a breakdown from Meta's own financial report for Q3 2025. And it even gives you a page number citation. So this is 100% accurate as per the documentation that I fed it into the rank. And it gives me the exact quote. So we can be sure that none of the AI that's used in this system can hallucinate. The second one is for Amazon, and it's done pretty much the same summary based on the Amazon's report that I've uploaded into Pinecone. And it's giving me a citation with the exact quote. And the source is the Amazon earnings PDF that I uploaded inside of Pinecone. And the last one is Alphabet. And again, it's done the same kind of summary with a citation and the exact quote. Within seconds, it hits the Pinecone tool and comes back with perfect answers. But here's the magic. It gives us the exact documents, the exact quote, and the exact page numbers from their own PDFs. And getting this right usually requires complex pipelines and metadata tagging. It's also why most people give up. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can skip all of that because I'm gonna show you how you can build this exact system. And if you stick around, I'll even show you how you can find clients that are willing to pay for this. And as you can see, there are only four notes, but the most important is this one here, the Pinecone Assistant, because it's not the normal vector store that we're used to. This is actually a game changer. And this is Pinecone. You can actually get signed up for free. And what you wanna do is head over to Assistant. Now I've already created an assistant for this example, but what you wanna do is click on Create an Assistant. Give it a name, so I'm just gonna call it Demo. And once it's created, what you have here is a playground. It's very similar to what OpenAI use inside of ChatGPT. And what I did for this example is I actually found financial reports for Meta, Amazon, and Alphabet. And I uploaded them in this screen here on the right-hand side, where it says drags files here or click to browse. And here's the assistant playground for my N8N assistant. You can see that I've got the three reports here and I can actually ask it questions inside of the playground. So I asked it, what was Meta's earnings in Q3? And it'll actually give me everything that I've asked for from inside the Meta earnings PDF. But more importantly, it's giving me the citations. So for the net income, you can see that it came from pages three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now this is very important because language models are known to hallucinate, hallucinate, which means that they make up details or data. And if you're selling this system to actual clients in a real world scenario, that is absolutely the worst thing that could happen. It's gonna damage the client's business, but more importantly, it's gonna damage your reputation. So what this Pinecone Assistant does is it removes all of that. The only single point of failure is the actual PDF itself or whatever content data that you upload inside of this vector. And that will be a problem if you're using the client's own data. And what's great is that Pinecone handles all the backend stuff. Once you upload the content inside of here, that's it. There's nothing else for you to do. The next thing for us to do is to connect this into our N8N. So click on where it says connect and you just wanna scroll down to where it says chat with your assistant because we don't need to do the first part, which is upload the files. It's easier to do it manually, but you can actually automate this as well. And then for this QRL, all you need is all of this here from this point. You can ignore where it says pinecone underscore API underscore key. I'll show you how to do that. You copy this, head back into N8N, add the HTTP request node. And then where it says import QRL, you just paste it here. As you can see, I've already done that. And then what it does is this will set up the entire HTTP request node for you. The method is post. It's already got the endpoint. It'll automatically set up the headers for you with the API key. And I'll show you how you can get that in a second because the default is going to be a placeholder. So you remove that and you paste in your own API key. Then it's got a send body that's automatically toggled with JSON and we're going to use JSON. And then for the expression, you want to add this dynamic variable because what we're asking this automation to do is basically take the question from the chat input. And that's why we need it to be dynamic. Everything else you can leave as default. And there you have it. Once you run, you'll see a content output like this. For the language model, I've connected up 2.5 Flash from Google Gemini. The reason I've done that is because I want this rag to be as fast as possible. And I haven't used a language model that's faster than 2.5 Flash. The second reason is that it's currently free through the API. So for me, it's a no brainer. And lastly, you're going to need to add an AI agent. And the reason I'm doing this last is because believe it or not, in this setup, the AI agent isn't that important. So from the nodes, you want to select the AI agent, which is this node here. And then when you click inside, the prompt is going to be the chat trigger. So you can see from the previous node, which is chat input, I asked it, give me a breakdown of where the revenue came from for each company. It's then going to automatically by default include the chat input variable. And then I've given it a system message. Now you don't actually have to do this, but the reason I've added this is because if you don't add a system message, whenever you do the search inside of the chat to input, it's not going to bring back any citations, which means that it's not going to tell you the page number from where they got that information from or the exact quote. And I think this is very important because if you're selling this as a service, there's no room for mistakes. So the problem that I've used is you are an AI agent specialized in analyzing earnings reports. Now remember, you can put anything you want inside of Pinecone's vector. I'm just using this as an example. Use your Pinecone tool to search through earnings reports from Meta, Amazon, and Alphabet because these are three companies' PDFs that I've uploaded 
convert it into the vector store. When responding to the user's question, you must always cite your sources by including the document name, the page number, the section title, and an exact text based close from the original source. That's what I've done for this example. You can put any prompt you want in here. So when it runs, you get output like this, which is what I showed you inside of the chat input. And the last thing you need from Pinecone is the API key. So head back over into the dashboard, go to where it says API keys, and then just create a new key. Give it API key name. I'm going to call mine demo, create the key. And just bear in mind that this is the only time you're going to see the API key. Once you click close, you're never going to be able to go back into it, which is fine because you can create as many keys as you want. This is more of an FYI. And there you have it, a very simple rag system that took me about 15 minutes to create, and it can retrieve any data that you put inside of Pinecone's vector. But how do you turn this into a business or a service and get clients to pay you 60 to $100 per hour? Well, let me show you. Head over to my favorite platform, which is Upwork.com and do a search for rag. You can see there's a bunch of jobs here, but the one that piqued my interest was a senior full stack AI developer for business driven MVPs and AI agents. And looking at it from the surface level, it doesn't instantly scream a rag system or solution, but bear with me because the reason I like it is because it's payment verified. They have five stars. They spent over $10,000 on Upwork and they're from the United States, which is where the majority of my clients live. But more importantly, they're willing to pay 60 to hundred dollars an hour. And if you click inside the job brief, their tech environment is basically everything that I talk about. You can ignore the first four because this is code, but everything else after this is basically no code or API integrations, which is everything that I talk about on this channel. And in fact, you can actually use Superbase and Postgres instead of Pinecone. The reason I'm using Pinecone is because it's extremely cheap and it's pretty quick when it comes to data retrieval. And a nice to have that this client wants is rag patterns and prompt tooling, which is everything that I've just shown you on this video. And honestly, everything else is pretty straightforward. If you follow me, if you follow this channel, I've covered everything that they're asking for. And you can literally take this job on and smash it out of the park. And let me show you another job, also from a client in the United States. They spent over $2,000 on the platform and they're willing to pay $40 to $60 an hour for an AI developer for intelligent pattern making automation. It sounds a bit convoluted, but when you break it down, it's exactly what they need. Because if you click inside of the job brief, it sounds complicated, but it's really not. Because they want somebody that incorporates knowledge from pattern making textbooks using a rag system, which is everything I've just shown you. And honestly, the inputs and the outputs don't matter that much. Because when it comes to no code automation and API integrations, you can build anything you want. So there you have it, a very simple rag system that isn't sexy for most people, but there are clients out there on Upwork who are willing to pay top dollar for systems like this. And this is exactly what I do. In the daytime, I run an AI automation agency and I work with clients that want solutions like this because I'm building them. But not only that, I'm teaching my community of AI enthusiasts, people who work nine to five jobs, but want exposure to AI and AI automation systems. And I'm teaching them this. And if this is something that you like the sound of, then click on the link in my video description and sign up for the online community. I'll teach you how you can use AI to replace your nine to five income. I'll show you how you can use AI to build side hustles. And I'll even show you how you can use AI. And I'll give you the entire playbook of how you can build your own AI agency in 16 days or less. So I'm somebody that built it in about 30 days. That was from start to finish where I built the processes. I standardized it and I got my first client to pay me about $1,000 about for a three hour automation. But I'll show you how you can do all of that in 16 days or less. So the link for that is in the description below. Thank you so much if you made it this far. Smash the like button if you love this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already because here at the Automation Kings, it's my pleasure to show you how AI can change your life just like it's changed mine. And turn the notifications on so you know when the next video drops because I try and drop one video a day. So thanks again for your support. Use this rag system and go build yourself an amazing system and find your first high paying client. Take care and I'll see you when the next video drops.